<laughs> I'm going to admit something. Um, by the time that I got home, the day when um, I was drunk with my wife, okay, I made that video on, on uh, Teddy Zane. I don't know if you if you happened to see it, the video. Teddy was basically saying that there was a whole bunch of liberals and Democrats that were leaving negative reviews on, I guess, his restaurants, okay? And he was like, this shit's not fair. They don't even eat at my restaurants. They know I'm a Trump supporter. They know I'm a Republican. They, you know, so, so it, look, I just thought it was kind of funny, like, you know, that he was making a video, honestly, kind of begging people, which, which in, in a way is cheating, Teddy, because listen, he was asking some of the AMC apes to now go to his, you know, Google, I guess, restaurant page and leave reviews saying how much they love his restaurant. And they did. A lot of them, because they're fans of Teddy, did that. But don't you think that that's not right, Teddy? That's cheating? Because they've never been to your restaurant. And it's like you're kind of asking them to write a review. That's not an honest review. Because if it was honest, they would have sat down. They would have tried out your food. And, and then if they gave a review, well, that's an honest review. But you're asking them to write reviews when they've never even been to your restaurant. So to me... That's just as bad as the liberals and the Democrats who are writing negative reviews on your restaurant. What you did was just as bad as what the liberals did, okay? So I made a video in response to that saying, you know, Teddy, you know, I was I, I was acting drunk. I wasn't drunk at the time, just, just so that you know. This was many, many hours later. My wife brought me up like uh, peanut butter and jelly. It's funny because I had a little hair in it. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my wife's got all this thick hair. Sometimes a little bit, a little bit sheds out. You know, she brought me up coffee. She brought me up water. I was having bread. Uh, you know, so this was like many hours later. I took a shower. I was this. I and you know how you know I wasn't drunk because I wrote a beautiful song. There's, it's physically impossible. Listen to me. It's physically impossible that I wrote this beautiful song. It's called uh, something like. The next round is on me or something like that. I wrote this beautiful song and I recorded it. How, Teddy, how do you think I'm going to write lyrics to music and I'm going to write music and be able to actually execute it and perform it where I'm singing it, right? I'm reading the lyrics. I'm playing the, the chords. I'm improvising. I'm so, I'm doing this drug. No, it's not going to happen. So I, so I made a video where I was like, yeah, Teddy, you know, I'm going to go to, I was acting drunk here. Yeah. I'm going to go to your restaurant's Google page and I'm going to, I'm going to leave a positive review. And then I went, <laughs> like, I pretended that I threw up. Come on. Anyone who has common sense. This is why I tell you that people in YouTube are the most gullible, naive people in the world. Anybody who even has a little tiny drop of common sense would realize that that was just a joke. It was a parody. Come on. Who's going to have the perfect timing like that, right? Who's going to have the perfect timing where I'm going to be like, hey, Daddy, I'm going to go to your restaurant page. I'm going to leave a great review for you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy, so Teddy on his live stream is saying like, who does that? Who makes a video about me throwing up drunk like what's wrong with this guy there's, there's something wrong with you teddy if you believe that's real and like i said this is more and more confirmation that the juice is not only shrinking your balls to the size of raisins it's it's shrinking the brain 